Uh, so on the table, we still have two things that we need that are strawberries. So obviously one of them is already repeated. So what we're going to do now is grab your strawberry from your document file and call it strawberry and then drag it into Photoshop. All right, so now this probably the easiest thing to go with will be the quick selection tool on this one, okay? So click on that, on that. We will touch up a few things because of um, how it's gonna spread, but you can click, make the smaller selection on the quick selection. I keep selecting the leaves. Okay. That's pretty good. Except you notice some things have been picked out that we don't want. <coughs> One thing you can try to do, you can hold the shift key and click on the shadows that you don't need, kind of paint around it and see what's gonna happen. Kind of like what I did in here too. I went too far. Now if that happens now I'm gonna retouch it with my regular lasso tool. So you can add and remove from the selection. So I'm just gonna see I wanna see how much I selected. Okay, that's all off. Uh, don't worry if you pick up a little bit of a shadow. Uh, that's okay. As long as if it's smooth on the sides. Right. When you do this, we're going to refine edges for this one as well. So the quick selection worked the best. And then I just did a small touch-ups with the regular lasso tool. Okay. So just look around. Like here, notice here I have the white picked up. So I'm going to do option, hold the option key, and go with my lasso tool and kind of draw around this to remove it. And then on the leaf here, I don't see it, so I'm gonna do shift, hold my shift key, and then my lasso add to it. So this is just really small touch-ups to do. Kind of clean up the image. That's a little bit too much there. Okay. When you're done, then go ahead and refine the edge. So go under select. Refine edge, click on smart radius. Because notice you can see the difference. Look at that. Look at this now. Look how mine are refined it is. You see that bottom part? It doesn't look right. So when you refine it and you're going to blur it, it's going to be, look at that. It's, uh, and the projection is not actually doing justice, but it's going to blend a little bit. So I'm going to go like about two might be fine, one point something. Do okay. Now you're ready to bring that image over to your uh, Lab 7B folder with your selection tool. Again, I call it selection tool with your move tool. So select that and move it. Now the strawberry is a little bit too big. So guess what we're going to do? <coughs> Command T for transform. I'm going to move one on the side here. Now go ahead and name the layer. And if we didn't name the other layers, this is a good time to kind of name them. I think I forgot to name my flower layer, so I'm going to name it flower. And then this one is strawberry. <coughs> okay, so name your layers. And what we're going to do, we're actually going to duplicate the strawberry. And the easiest thing is it's its own layer. You can just go under even layer, like on the side, duplicate, or command J for shortcut. Duplicate it and move it on the other side. Now what we're going to do is we will rotate it. So again, transform T. And you can drag on kind of a little bit outside the binding box and rotate your strawberry. Try to put it kind of on the bottom of... Hold the shift key. I'm going to make it smaller too. Okay, it's kind of like on the bottom. And then arrange your strawberries. Can kind of see. Okay. So here are my strawberries right there, and this is so far I would save my image at this point. The last step, I'm going to close my strawberry and go ahead, go to your lamp, and then open it up in Photoshop. Navigate to get it. Now, how would you select the lamp? Let's say the how would you select these, the darkest? One. Exactly. Why? 
picker as long as the same color is going to pick it up. Yeah. Uh-huh. And don't do quick selection. I mean, you can, but look at that. It's going to take your time to select it. Magic Wand just analyzes the values. So I'm going to do Command D. So what you want to go, go select your Magic Wand. And Magic Wand, what it does, is selects color values that are very similar. Color identical. Click on it. Okay. Now, notice here on top, it tells you tolerance, 50%. Right? Now, what it means, what does it mean? It means tolerance. It's going to choose more or less. Look at this, 100%. Notice what happens when I select it. It's selecting much more, right? The higher tolerance, the more colors will pick up because it's looking at darkest areas, but you actually are allowing for other ones to be picked up. Now, I'm going to change the tolerance to less. Let's go. Let's see how 30 will be. 30 is okay. It's too low. I just always play with tolerance. To 40. <coughs> Okay, that's awesome. That's selected it. I don't want the lamps to be selected with this tool. So you want to just click on them. Don't worry if it picked up here. That's okay. And then one here. Now, one thing with lasso, you do have to hold your shift key. Lasso is, um, not lasso. Magic one is funny like that. Okay. So notice here, I, se I selected my tolerance to 40. And when you click on the poles, make sure you hold your shift key. Okay. As the fastest way of selecting identical or similar colors will be the magic wand. So you see the difference between quick selection and the magic wand, right? Now, the rest, I'll probably switch back to my uh, quick selection for this one. I'm going to en enlarge the size of my brush. Now, one good thing about magic, uh, when you go into quick selection, is you don't have to be clicking shift anymore. I'm just clicking. Now here the edge. I'm gonna did you see how I painted it? I just went around the edge. I painted that out. Here too. So I'm just I'm not letting go of my mouse. I'm painting, I'm looking at my brush and I'm painting around the edge. Now if I go too much like here, then I can always go my shift, make the brush smaller, hold my shift, I mean I'm um, at option, not shift, option, and remove it. Same thing for the other side. Again, we're going to add to the selection, so click on it. Or you can click and hold, like I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just clicking and holding. It's going to paint around it. Now, if it goes too much out, I'm going to have to zoom in and select those points. Okay, okay cool. All right. So here I need to pick up some sides. I'm gonna make it smaller. Hold my shift. Let's move it out. All right, that's good. Oh, wrong key. Okay, so check around your lantern or your lamps and see if everything is picked up that you want. If it's too much, you can always move it out. Okay, I think mine are okay. So once you've finished, again, you're gonna refine edges. Now, without going to select, you can just click on the menu on top when it says refine edge. So the same, this is the same thing as we went select. And look at the lamp, make sure everything looks good the way you wanted it. And then go ahead, add smell radius. And we're gonna go very small on this, probably around one. Do okay. Okay, so we have picked it up. Now, with that, go back to your uh, to your move tool, and you notice how I just moved the image out, the tab out. Um, so I'm gonna go with my move tool and move my lamp to the image, and you can notice that my finished image has the lamp on the other side. So we're gonna flip it again. So if you go to edit, transform flip horizontal okay and now one thing though is different what happens notice how I'm placing it and actually on the low we don't want to show in a table so what we're gonna do is we're gonna name the layer and then we're gonna move it to go right below the table so name it lamp 
and then go ahead and move it all the way uh, right on top of background below the table so it doesn't show the box. <coughs> so this is how the image should look like so far. I mean, it's actually almost done. We're going to do a little small touch on this. Uh, so go ahead, save. So the touch we want to add, and this is, I didn't do this on my sample image, uh, which is our initial and kind of play with the type tool. So go ahead, uh, select again your high strawberry copy. Now, by the way, I've noticed I'm going to rename this layer. So strawberry and strawberry copy, we can name it strawberry too, okay? So uh, click on strawberry two that you just renamed. And now go to your type. And what I want you to do, hopefully it won't crash on me. Uh-oh. There is the sound. All right, it didn't crash. Thank God. So now in the bottom here, let's kind of put your initials, okay? We're going to change the type and the size too. It's pretty big. <laughs> that is gigantic. So go ahead and select uh, a type that you like the most so on top. You've seen this, these options the same in Illustrator. So just choose different type and different size. Okay. And you can put it on a side. Uh, you can put a different color if you want. It's up to you. Okay. So mine is right here on the side. There's something else we're going to do with it. Actually, let me undo. I like this one better. We're going to do some things with the layers. Do you notice, if I'm looking at the layers, do you notice here on the bottom? Let me see if I can zoom into this. Does it look familiar than in Illustrator? In Illustrator, they call it effects, right? In Photoshop, they call it layer styles, which to me is layer effect. That's what it is. But somehow they wanted to use FX as, as an effect. So what we're going to do on your type, we want to add a little bit of a shadow and a glow on it. Okay? So what you want to do, make sure the type layer is selected. Click on FX. And we're going to go, I'm just going to do all my blending options. Which, by the way, you can select. And what I'm going to do is I will be selecting my that different shadow there's a inner shadow or drop shadow we're going to do drop shadow when you select the drop shadow notice just click on it to select it okay and notice how direction the shadow goes technically i hate shadow <laughs> i really do but for this you just need to learn the tool so what we're going to do is we're going to change the angle of this shadow so kind of change the angle so it doesn't give you that much shadow just a little bit on on top so I change my angle to like 100 M negative 100 okay um, next what we're gonna do we're gonna add a little bit of glow and we're gonna do outer glow right so click on outer glow just click on it don't only check it click on it and you can see that my t the type is now glowing so you can do you can actually spread it more or less go ahead and spread it a little bit just kind of looks like a glow so I did, what was the default? We're going to do like 9, not much, or 10. 9 or 10. Okay, so there is my glow. Now you probably cannot see the shadow very well after that. So if you feel like the shadow needs to be changed a little bit, I'm going to leave it alone. I, I want it to be 100, negative 100. Okay. So we have outer glow, shadow, and that's it. So you are done with this file. You can go ahead, if you're done and you're happy with it, you can go ahead and submit it, uh, submit both files. Okay, so let me save it, save. And now you'll be submitting them in that folder, so.